So what's the difference between 24 karat gold, 14 karat gold, 10 karat gold? What do these numbers even mean? The number in front of carat tells you the percentage of gold that's in that item. This US minted coin is 22 karat gold. That means it's 91.7% pure gold. The US mint put about 10% copper into this to make the coin more durable. So when the coin says there's a tenth of an ounce of gold, in this coin there is, but the coin weighs a little more than a tenth of an ounce because of the copper. A lot of people weren't pleased that the US Mint would put copper into their gold coins. Now the US Mint does mint pure 24 karat coins. These coins would be 99.9% .9 pure gold. Now, if this was pure gold, it would not be very durable at all. Most jewelry is not made out of 24 karat because it would deform so easily. Canada's mint has been making pure 24 karat gold coins for years. So the highest gold content you can have is 24 karat pure gold. And of course, the next level down is 22 karat gold which is 91.7% gold, which is what this coin is. The next step down would be 18 karat gold. Now 18 karat gold is 75% gold. And the other 25% would be a filler, something like copper. And the next step down from there is 14 karat gold. 14 karat has 58.3% Gold. And down from that is 12 karat gold, which is 50% gold. And the lowest carat is 10 karat gold. 10 karat gold is 41.7% real gold. Anything less than 10% is not considered gold. So next time you see the word carat, now you'll know what it means and how much actual gold is in it. Well, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.